Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another mod showcase. There's another one here by TMD Awakey, and this is Nuclear Nourishment. So we're gonna go ahead and run through this mod, check out all there is to offer. This is actually an early access thing also, it is coming soon. Uh, so I will go ahead and drop a link for his Discord so you can keep up to date on when things are gonna be dropping, what kind of things he's working on, stuff like that. So definitely check that also if you wanna see when this is officially dropping for everybody to uh, download. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and first of all, check out the block that has been added. This is uranium ore, and you are going to need a diamond level pickaxe or higher to be able to mine this. Anything else will not work. So uh, yeah, you can go ahead and grab you. I think it gives between four and three usually, but you can go ahead and grab yourself a bunch of uranium with this. I'm sure fortune probably affects this also, gives you a bit more. But you're going to want to grab a lot of this stuff. So that way you can get your foods doing a lot of good things for you. Yes, yeah, see out of that little vein we had there, we just got 64 plus 6. So not too shabby. Decent bit of uranium there. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and hop out of this world. And we're going to hop into a regular world and see if we can find it in the natural form. Alrighty, so here we are in a brand new world. We just loaded it up. Let's go ahead and find a cave real quick and dive on down and see what we can find. Oh yeah, here we go. This looks promising. Let's go ahead and dive deep down into this cave here. Do we have some already or is that... That is emeralds. Oh no, that is uranium. Oh, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Does look very similar to emeralds. Let's go ahead and do a comparison here. Yeah, so you could easily get mixed up and think that it's emeralds, I feel like. I mean, I did just did at least. Uh, there's your uranium, there's your emeralds. Yeah, there you have it, spawning in the natural wild. And it seems like it's pretty common. I'm seeing quite a bit of it. Yeah, definitely, definitely a decent amount down here if you get into these deep caves. You could just see right here in this open area, look at how much of it. You see all the green just speckled all over the place. Very nice. All right, but anyways, back to the showcase. Alrighty, we're back. And so what I'm going to show you next is the crafting recipes for these things. So what you're going to want to do, <laughs> I had it backwards in the beginning, uh, but you're going to want to go ahead and take eight of the food and put it in a circle like so and put one uranium. And that's going to give you back eight radioactive of whatever item that is you're trying to make. So that works with all of these different items. You got bread, chicken, rabbit, pork chop, carrot, cod, salmon, beetroot, steak, cooked mutton, baked potato, and apple. And these have to be cooked fish also, by the way. I don't know if I said cooked salmon and cooked cod. You want everything to be prepared except for the vegetables. Alrighty, but anyways, that's how you go ahead and craft all of these foods. But now let's go ahead and get into testing them. So first thing first here, we have some radioactive bread. So let's go ahead and give that a taste and see what it does. And now I don't recommend making your food in real life radioactive. Minecraft is a different story. And uh, here I am being the test dummy. I'm going to try this stuff out for you. So let's, let's see what it does. All right, so it looks like it gives you the same amount of hunger as normal bread does. And you also get Hero of the Village for five minutes, it looks like. That is very handy. Let's go ahead and clear it, and let's see if anything else happens when we eat this bread. Okay, so that time it did nothing. All right, so it looks like it might be hit or miss on whether you're going to get an effect or not. So the first time Hero of the Village, second time nothing. And then let's go ahead and try it again. Yeah, we're getting Hero of the Village again. All right, so I'm going to try a few more breads. Let's see if we can get a different effect to happen. But it seems like we're just getting Hero of the Village. Uh, I believe one time I tried it in uh, another recording here. It did give me, like, bad omen. So I'm not sure. It may maybe that's just, like, a super rare chance. But um, it seems like I'm pretty much just getting the good effects out of them. I'm not getting the uh, bad effect right now, but... You may be taking a chance. Sometimes nothing, sometimes a good effect, and uh, sometimes maybe a bad effect. But the good effect is really nice. Hero of the Village for five minutes, you're going to get a lot of trading done. You're going to get some, some good deals out here. Anyways, though, on to the next one. We have a radioactive cooked chicken. Alrighty, so we got our hunger down. Let's go ahead and try this out, see what we're going to get from this. Okay, so that time it was nothing, but it did it give us three hunger bars like uh, usual. I think a chicken would, or a cooked chicken would normally give you that. I think that sounds about right. But let's go ahead and try it again, see if we get a good effect, or maybe even a bad effect. 
Aha, there we go. So now we have slow falling for 30 seconds. Very nice, super nice. If you wanna go ahead and give yourself some effects without having to like actually brew up the potions, because I think slow falling isn't that one phantom membranes. So yeah, they're, they're kind of a pain in the butt. Phantom's probably the, the worst mob in the game. So now all you need is a uh, chicken and uranium. So yeah, definitely, definitely worth uh, crafting that on up. But uh, like the other one, we'll go ahead and try it again. See if we actually get like a bad effect. All right, so that time was nothing once again. Alrighty, so on to the next item. What we have here is going to be some uh, radioactive apples. So what do you think is going to happen with these? Let's uh, let's go ahead and find out. Ooh, we get a speed boost. Very nice. You love to see it. And that is, uh, I think it's just regular speed. I don't think it's like speed 2 or anything. But yeah, very good. Just for taking like some apples and some uranium to give you that nice of an effect is pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. We zoom in out here. And uh, like as with the other ones, I'm going to try it a couple times. Because I know that some of these, sometimes they give you no effect. Sometimes they give you bad effect. So I just want to kind of try it out a couple times. We're not going to go too crazy. Some of this you may have to find out on your own when you get the mod. Yeah, we'll try it at least a couple times and see if we can get the bad effect to happen. Nope, we're getting, we're getting real lucky today. <laughs> I'm super speedy today. But I'm assuming what it'll be is like the opposite effect. So if we get speed, I think we may get slowness instead if you if you have the bad time. But uh, either way, next item on the list here is a radioactive carrot. So what will you do for me at radioactive carrot? Aha, night vision. That, that does make sense. Carrots are good for your vision. So yeah, a little bit of night vision from uh, eating a carrot. You'll love to see it. This is gonna put a lot of the foods that you don't seem to use a whole lot in regular vanilla Minecraft. It's gonna put a lot of them to use when you add this mod into your world because you're gonna wanna get these effects. So you're gonna wanna grow these foods and actually use them unlike your regular vanilla Minecraft playthrough where you're like, you're growing carrots but you're feeding them to the pigs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you're maybe you're trading them with villagers. Let's try it, let's try it again. Yep, night vision. So I'm assuming you may get blindness. Uh, I'm not too sure on this one. Uh, like I said, I was recording this a little bit earlier and some of them I was having bad effects. Some of them I was having no effects. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a gamble sometimes. Okay, next up what we have is the radioactive beetroot. So like I was saying, this is gonna give some use to some of those foods you never really use. Like beetroot, that's one, I mean, what does anybody really use that for? <laughs> Are you out here eating beetroot stew in Minecraft? Nah but you might want to actually make a radioactive beetroot because that's going to give you, I think we got no effect. Aha, we got regeneration three. Yo, very nice. Yeah, I could see a lot of times when that's going to come in super duper handy. But uh, once again, it's giving you the normal amount of hunger like the, the regular item would. So still not super great for filling up your hunger bar, but super nice for if you're in a pinch and you need a little bit of regeneration. All right, so let's go ahead and try it again and see if we get anything bad happen to us. All right, we got nothing and we got, oh, oh yeah, okay, we got poison. So see, that's what I was saying about, you know, you're taking your, your chance there sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, so it may make your bad situation worse or it may make your bad situation better. You, you never know. That's how it works with this uh, radioactive stuff, you know? Next up on the food chain is the radioactive baked potato. And uh, baked potatoes in regular Minecraft is probably one of my favorite foods that you can get. It's just, it's simple, it's uh, it's easy to get and make and grow, like you get a lot of it and it does pretty good for your hunger. So yeah, this is gonna be a very useful one. Let's see what it does for me though. Ooh, haste, that is good. Yeah, look at how, look at how quick I am. I'm, I'm a fast boy now, so you can get some very quick mining speeds here if you just take, you know, a little bit of radioactive baked potato with you. Bring it on down into the mine. Like I said, it's something I'm usually eating in Minecraft anyway. I love uh, eating the potatoes. So you can go ahead and get, you know, good effect and have a good food. And so uh, I'm assuming on the other side of that, you'll probably get mining fatigue. Let's try another one just to be, okay, so we got nothing. And that time, yeah, we got uh, mining fatigue and haste. How does that work out? That's kind of an interesting one. So I think maybe the haste just overdoes the mining fatigue. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you can get like a, an opposite bad effect sometimes. And actually both of them at once is kind of weird. I've, uh, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how that really works out, but it, uh, it does. 
Now for another delicious superfood. We have radioactive cooked beef. What'll what'll we get? Ooh, absorption three. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all them hearts I got now. So yeah, get rid of your golden apples. Just throw some uranium on your steak. So let me think, maybe what would the opposite of that be? Maybe um, uh, wither effect, I'm assuming. So you'll have to decide, is it worth the risk? Now for another food that I think most people are probably not eating a whole lot of, unless it's like super early game. Because like sheep, you're generally just kind of shearing them. You're just getting the wool from them. You're not usually taking them out. But here we have the cooked mutton. Maybe we'll give you a use for your sheep now. You'll have to actually <laughs> take them out and eat them uh, because this is going to give you saturation. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Look at those hearts just kind of... Oh, wow. They're zooming on up. 30 seconds of saturation. Yeah, that does crazy stuff right there. Holy schmoly. That's almost... Uh, I don't know. That almost seemed as good as like the regeneration, to be honest with you. That was pretty quick. Alrighty, and now for the good old cooked pork chop, but this time it's radioactive. That for you will give you strength. Oh yeah, you can go around and smack some mobs around now. Give them a good punch in the face. Here we have a, a husk, and I have some strength, so we're gonna we're gonna give him a smack. Let's smack him with the pork chop. Uh oh, I ran out of haste. Let's eat another one. There we go. How do you like that? How do you like that strength? Alrighty, moving on, we now have the good old cooked rabbit. This is going to be a little tougher to come by. I feel like farming rabbits is kind of hard. Something I've never really messed with in Minecraft. But if these are going to be pretty handy for you, it might be worth farming up some rabbits. Oh, jump boost. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, uh, you know, you got rabbits. Um, yeah, definitely. Let's see how high it actually takes you, though. Here we have two blocks high. Can we jump up two blocks high? Maybe like a block and a half, it looks like. It is... Uh, it doesn't say. I think it mu must be jump boost one. And I think that takes you up like a block and a half. So I think you can jump over fences if you have jump boost one. But yeah, definitely a pretty handy one. Yeah, look at that. We're hopping around like a rabbit. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's like you eat the animal and absorb its power or something. It's kind of a little bit strange, but that's how it works here in the good old Minecraft. Especially the good old modded Minecraft, you know what I mean? Now we have cooked cod, which is another one. I'm not seeing too many people eating unless it's like early in the game when, you know, you first are starting out, you're just trying to get a good food source to keep you going for a little bit. But now you're going to want to eat the cod because you're going to get... You're going to get... Oh, you're going to get... You're going to get darkness. Oh, no. Oh, no, we don't like that. The uh, poison was my, me. I've just given myself poison to uh, drop my hunger down. But what? Darkness? It make me feel like there's a freaking warden around here now. What the heck, man? Maybe you're going to want to avoid the cod still. All right, come on now, cod. You got to do something good for me. What are you, you going to do for me? Okay, so that time it's nothing. I think it, this one may be just no effect or bad effect is what it seems like. So maybe you're going to still want to avoid the cod. You'll have to test this out for yourself and see... Uh, and see what it does for you. And now we have a little bit of radioactive cooked salmon. What do you got in store for me? Another one, it looks like uh, nothing, but we'll try it again, see if maybe we get a bad effect. The fish seem like they're still not a very good option because you either get nothing or you're getting bad effect is what it seems like. Come on, fishy, fishy, give me, give me something good. Nothing. All right, well, we're not gonna spend too much time on the fish. Like I said, this is something you may have to download and check out so that way you can find out for yourself what some of the effects you're going to get from some of these foods are going to be and now last but not least probably actually most important we've got the omnipotent apple is it omnipotent or omnipotent either way whatever you want to say uh let's go ahead and give this a try oh holy schmoly that is going to give you like every single freaking effect you can possibly get <laughs> whoa that is insane look at how many extra hearts i have look at the major absorption we get major absorption regeneration conduit power oh so you're gonna be able to swim underwater with dolphins grace conduit power you're gonna get water breathing night literally pretty much just every single effect you can get you're gonna get from this one and is it permanent? It doesn't appear to be like... Okay, I think they are ticking down. I just can't see because they're hidden back behind the thing. But yeah, th this one is going to be insane. And uh, because it is so crazy, it's actually kind of crazy to make. So let's go ahead and show you how to make this last one. 
man, it, all that time for me to like grab all that stuff and I still have all these effects. Seem like they do last for quite a while. Uh, but anyways, uh, because this one is so crazy, it's gonna be kind of a crazy crafting recipe. So what you're gonna wanna do here, you're gonna grab you some raw uranium and you're gonna put that in the top. You're gonna grab you a golden apple, I believe, in the middle. You're gonna put a couple of netherite ingots on the sides, and then you're gonna sandwich that out with some more uranium. So it's gonna be an expensive one. Two netherite ingots to make this, but it's definitely gonna be kind of bonkers when you eat it. Look at all these effects that I still have. They are lasting a very long time. So yeah, I mean, if you're gonna go into a big fight and you wanna have some good effects on you, definitely check this out. I could see this being real useful for going and taking on the underwater monuments. I mean, but really, like, any kind of boss is going to be really handy. I think they're just now about about to give out. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think that just about does it for today's mod showcase. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel so you keep up to date on any future streams or videos, future mod showcases from TMD Awakey. Also, go ahead and check out the link down below for his Discord. Go over there and hop on there because that is where you're going to get all the updates on the mods when they're coming out. Yeah, you're going to get updates. You're going to get announcements, stuff like that. How to install it. He actually gives you a little tab on how to install them too if you're new to Minecraft modding. Alrighty, but anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.